All right, I'm getting ready to put an inverter back in my truck. So I went on the internet, bought some of this flexible copper my gauge wire. I think it's a uh, two, yeah, number two copper, and it's a flexible. And I've got 25 feet of it. I'm getting, then I'll I'll put around that some of this flexible tubing. You can get 10 feet for like three bucks from uh, Menards, and I'll put that around there just to keep the abrasion down. And pack the tie wraps and tie wrap it up. My other truck, it was on there for about four or five years, never had any trouble with it. Got a breaker for it. And uh, instead of a fuse, I just bought the breaker. Never never kicked it, but uh, we'll go it that way. So I'll be putting that on there before too long, put the inverter back in the truck. And then on the camper, we got home from camping. And we had a whole lot of water inside the front bedroom and uh, the problem with a camper that's four years old or older is these roof vents rot and the sun gets hold of them and they just plumb rot off this one come off the bathroom the other one was totally gone so when we got back from our trip we had water coming in so we lost it at this trip but uh, you know they're only good for three to four years um, so the way around that to get some of these um, white covers. I think my Max Air makes them. And these are Camco. I got these at uh, Menards. They were priced $25. And then the, the white covers were cheap enough. They're like 12 bucks. So uh, if I got the same stuff off the internet, they were quite a bit more money than that. So let's go inside and show you a few little upgrades that I'm doing here. All right, two or three years ago when we had the, the original mattress on the bed, we found out right away that it just wasn't, it just wasn't enough. So we found this queen and it was about, oh, um, it added up. I mean, it made a world of difference. The bed's really comfortable. And I have them out here because I got a little bit of water on the, on the bed. So we've got it drying out in here. Did some fixing on it. And this had a little bit of water on it. But in the master bedroom, the short bed had this out to this point right here. And so what I did is I took the, the, the old bed come out to here. The new bed comes out to right here. And all I did was put a pillow top on it and add this under. Now, you'll need to glue this um, because I just had screws on there and it actually broke. So I went back and glued it and put screws back in it and uh, it's got lots of lots of screws in it now so you can see uh, little, little glue goes a long ways um, and then uh, those little boxes are just a probably a six by six by whatever that dimension is between them two uh, beds the three boxes they're just an empty box that are sealed up and they're a spacer and what that does is your head never goes against the camper, the top of the camper, it just doesn't. So the original mattress, when it fits in there, it lines up with the top of the boxes, and then the pillowcase goes over the over over that. So uh, what you have is you have a pillowcase topper that's about six or eight inches longer than this, and so you don't even know those boxes are there. Your head doesn't fill them, and then your mattress has moved out to this point here. So still have room to walk, Around here, you know, it did it did consume it, but you know, how much time do you spend in, in the bedroom really walking around? So, and then uh, this little guy here, that's uh, some of that bubble wrap and just uh, glued, hot, I think I glued some material to it to darken it up. Anyway, I just got through replacing this cover, and you can see the bolts there. I added the bolts there and put that Camco topper on top of it. it's got a vent so you can leave this open during the rain and uh, it keeps the, the, uh, the UV lights off of this this is uh, not as heavy as the one on the outside so anyway we'll see how long this lasts and uh, we'll go with that and try that and then I did the same thing with the bathroom and uh, put it with the new top on it and that and they were almost four and a half years old so the camper was made in 2019 
Uh, and it's 2023, so about four years old. Sun beating down on them. It's never been garaged, so uh, yeah, the sun really beats on them. But uh, they were just $25 per cover, and then the $12 for this. So that came out pretty good. So anyway, I'm just kind of airing it out a little bit more so in here. And uh, keeping that, we just leave this over in the corner. Give us a little extra air, and if I need to, I just have some tie wraps with a screw in the back back there. And that just holds it up there. It's a road light's head for two years. Every now and then I'll take it out and, you know, just clip the cable tie and go back into it and do that. Um, this thing right here, if you go down the road without it underneath that, it'll come over here and jerk this, beat this all up. So always remember to get that thing checked back up and get it closed like that so anyway gaskets is working good um, have a trouble with the bathroom door leaking um, it's got this little plastic vinyl thing that goes on the inside and basically it was keeping the door from closing so I need to figure out how to raise that thing up just a little bit and try and get that vinyl thing to go back over that. So I'll probably try to figure that out and go with that. So, and there's, there's this. I've had to replace this switch. The other one went bad. And uh, just replace the cover and the topper for that. So it's good to go. And there's my switch box for my door. Uh, when the slide comes in, if the door's open like this, that'll meet a dead, dead stop, and then that'll push it all the way back there, and it'll tip, bend all these hinges off. So to keep that from happening, I wired that little guy in. And all this is is just a dryer a relay. It's a limit switch, and that wire goes in there, goes into the back of the slide controller. So. And then I put a sign on there. If the slide's not working, like right now, it won't work because the door's open. As soon as you close that, the slide will work. So, and uh, that also added an outdoor thermostat. I keep it in my propane deal just to keep the sun off of it. And uh, that way I know the outside temperature and the inside temperature. So, you know, that's all working pretty good. The 30 amp, every now and then I'll trip a breaker. So I've learned that I need to take the electric water heater off when I've been sitting you know, at a campground for a day or two, and someone runs the microwave, and uh, the refrigerator's on it, electric, and electric water heater, and the AC, so that's pushing the 30 amp, and if the breaker's a little bit weak, it'll trip it, so I just, uh, whenever I get ready to run the, that, I'll come over here and turn the uh, water heater off for on a 30 amp service, so you can always run propane too, so it works good. This thing's very economical on that so and uh, we baked lasagna in the oven this weekend uh, this week and we had four three four grandkids in here a couple of them spent the night uh, two or three of them spent the night over a couple of nights so camper really works nice gives us plenty of room and it's generally not this messed up but I'm making sure everything's dried out good before I put it away all right this is what I'm talking about the mattress coming out to the edge and the three space boards going on in there and we're getting ready to put this all back together there we go